So if you want to look 180 degrees behind you, some important settings to look at in Game Hub are this. Make sure that the view angle here for your is at 130. So you're changing this by dragging this up to 130 degrees. Also, you'll notice I've got the other one further down here, the angle limits. I've got this down here to 130 degrees. And the really critical thing to change is up here, head tracking settings. We've got under head rotation so if you can't see it make sure you click the little triangle drop it down and then in this you've got your sensitivity how fast the in-game camera will turn horizontally based on head angle i've got that set to four you could set it to five um, you could set it to three but it would increase that number so i've got that set to four in what i have demonstrated in this video your sensitivity, how fast in-game camera will turn horizontally based on head angle. Try 4 and see how you go. Just an option that you could change if you want to look directly behind you very quickly. Just one other thing. You may want to add a bit of dead zone with this start point. So under sensitivity gradient, you could change this and make it like 0.2. Which will give it's some dead zone. So this adjusts how much you need to turn your head before the in-game camera starts to move. I'm using it at, at zero. So I've got it at zero. That's what I've set it to. But if you want to, you could change this to increase it and it will just give you a little bit of dead zone. So you can move your head and then uh, nothing will really happen until you've moved it quite a bit. So just something you might want to change. It's called start point. It's under the sensitivity gradient. So I just want to add a few additional comments. If you find yourself in a situation where the Toby Eye Tracker 5 is not working in game, jump in the game hub, go here and turn it to off and then turn it back to on again and you may find it will start working. It's worth a try. Just some other things. Sometimes you may find yourself getting into a weird situation where your camera is stuck up here and you can use the reset button and it's not working. You can adjust it with right shift and right control. You hold both those buttons down and then make sure that you've got the numlock pad button off. So the numlock is off and then you can use down arrow, right arrow, left arrow, up arrow and also the star on the numlock pad and the forward slash on the numlock pad so you can move around. I just want to comment too while I'm down here. It is very, very cool that you can go down to here and you can actually read the writing. Jack screw, tighten first, loosen last. And also all the way up here, you can actually read the writing up there.
How cool is that? This is an Air 14 Tomcat. Extremely cool detail. And also, of course, up here, we'll just show you. You can look up here. If you've never seen this before, you can now read the detail up there. So that's really, really cool. Um, some other things, just want to comment on. You can obviously look down there. I'll try and center it. Just with my keyboard. And you may find you need to do this from time to time just with the keyboard. When you're looking over here, you may find that it is um, jittery, so it's going forwards and backwards on you. So if you're looking at your canopy or just anywhere, if that is annoying you, one possible fix, I'm not saying this is the only fix, but one possible fix is to go into adjust controls, go up here, go into access commands, and then have a look at cockpit camera move forward backward. It's got head tracker Z, left click on this once, then go down to access tune. What you may want to do is change this from zero and just make it to four or put a bit of a number in there. So if you've got some dead zone. Once you add the dead zone and then you click OK and then OK and you come back, you should find it's not moving so much anymore. So just one possible thing you may want to do if you find that that is moving around, um, that might be a solution for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. I'll see you in the next video.